hey guys peculiar here and welcome back to my youtube channel so in today's tutorial i'll be doing a crochet top with puff sleeves this tutorial is super super easy and it's not really hard to follow i also inserted a guide on how to crochet the puff sleeves as well so i hope that helps you guys out when you're trying to recreate this top thank you guys also for all the love and support and getting me to 2,000 subscribers i'm super grateful don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and also turn on post notifications so you can get notified every time i upload a new video now let's get started so for this video you need a five millimeter crochet hook you need a pair of scissors we might need a stitch marker and you definitely need some yarn um this yarn is in the color light gray it's a weight four yarn and it recommends a 6.5 millimeter crochet hook i don't know why it says that but um i'm just gonna be using a five millimeter crochet hook so this is what i have for the top i'm sorry i'm not good at drawing so please don't mind my drawing but yeah, this is what I have for the top. This is what I'm trying to create. And I'm just going to make 81 chains. And this is going to be the body portion for the top. And it's going to cover from one part of your back to the other part of your back, but not fully covering. And this is a size small to medium. And I'm going to make 81 chains. So start by making a slip knot. And make 81 chains like I said before this is gonna cover from one side of your back to the other side but not fully covering so after making 81 chains I'm gonna go in the second stitch from the hook which is this stitch and I'm gonna insert a half double crochet so yarn over insert yarn over pull through and yarn over pull through the remaining three loops to make a half double crochet and you're gonna have double crochet all the way for this entire row So I'm done with my first row of half double crochets and I'm just going to chain one and turn my work and keep placing half double crochets for this second row. Okay, so I'm done with my second row of half double crochets and now I just chained one. I'm going to turn my work and keep placing half double crochets for the third row. So we're basically just going to be inserting half double crochets for as many rows as you want. I'm not sure how many rows that I'm going to do, but when I'm done, I'm gonna insert it um i'm gonna put it on the screen so yeah um just keep crocheting half double crochets and i'll meet you guys when i have the total amount of rows that i want so i'm currently on my sixth row and I just wanted to give you guys a little update on how it is looking. It just looks like a big fat rectangle. So I'm just going to keep making more rows and more rows till it builds up. And I'm happy with the length. Um, Just make sure that you're making a chain. Just make sure you're chaining one at the end of 
every row that's very important so make sure you're chaining one and just insert your half double crochets for all the rows okay so guys i completed my rectangle i have a total of 27 rows and i'm happy with the coverage and how it fits around my body and so i'm gonna start um you know i'm gonna start making double crochet all around the borders of the top So I stopped here and from here I'm just going to go, I already chained one so I'm just going to go all the way like this and I'm going to insert half double crochets all through for the back portion of this top. I know the holes are not really visible but you just have to like work your way around it like I always say don't put too much half double crochets but don't put too small or too less if that's a word yeah don't put too small half double crochets and don't put too much half double crochets so what I'm basically doing is half double crocheting all the way till I get to the end so I have double crocheted my way all through for this row and I'm just going to chain one, turn my work. From here I'm just going to insert a half double crochet into this first stitch. Then I'm going to chain one and then skip the next stitch. And then insert three double crochets so chain one skip one and insert three double crochets So chain one, skip one, and insert three double crochets. So chain one, skip one, and insert three double crochets. And that's the sequence for this row so chain one skip one and insert three double crochets So chain one, skip one, and insert my last half double crochet. You could do a double crochet, half double crochet, it really doesn't matter. I actually like don't really care about it, but I just did a double crochet. So chain one and turn your work. And insert a single crochet for the whole of this row so in that first stitch insert a single crochet and in the holes too so because that counts single crochet all the way
you're basically gonna do the exact same thing that you did on this side on the other side I got so lucky but yeah we're basically gonna do the exact same thing that we did here over here okay, so if you were confused about how you attach yarn don't worry I'm gonna do that for you so just make a slip knot and then insert your hook and insert your hook into that slip knot and pull through and then chain one and then ch insert your half double crochets see it's very easy so do the exact same thing and I'm gonna meet you guys when I'm done so I put the um I put the work or the project around my body and I marked where I'm gonna place these straps so I'm gonna place these straps here and here and I'm also gonna place the other one here and here so it's gonna be like this so then we're gonna attach the strap and it's gonna go from here to here okay so this is gonna be the front portion so this is nine inches long and then from here to here somewhere around 6.7 inches and it's the this the same thing for this one so yeah so make a slip knot and we're about to make these straps so make a slip knot And then take off the first stitch marker and insert your hook into that space then make about 42 to 44 chains so this is going to be different for everybody so just measure it against your body and I think I'm going to make about 44 chains, so yeah. So I've made 44 chains. And now I'm just going to attach it where I have my other stitch marker. So insert your hook. and make a slip stitch so we have our first strap and this is how we're gonna make the puff sleeves so make sure your straps are straight and it's not curving so from here i'm gonna change my hook to a four millimeter crochet hook And I'm going to insert a double crochet all the way for that chain that I just made. So make a double crochet all the way for that chain. So as you can see, I've made my double crochet all the way for the straps and it's not curving so I'm just gonna insert my last one and make a slip stitch into that next chain so cut off your yarn from the yarn ball 
chain two and cut it off. And then we're gonna start from the inside to create the puff sleeves. So you're gonna start from somewhere here. Um, you can use your five millimeter crochet hook. I just wanted to use the four because it's a double crochet and I don't want the stitches to be too loose. But yeah, you can use anything you want. So I made a slip knot and I'm gonna pull it through and insert a double crochet all through. I hope you guys understand this. So this is my chain and I'm starting from the inside. So make a double crochet in that first stitch. And make a double crochet all around for this row. Okay, so let me show you guys what I'm doing. Okay, so from here, I'm making a making a double crochet all around here and it's gonna go all the way from here and it's gonna go around and it's just gonna keep going like that so yeah i just want to make that row so i think it's gonna be row two so just make double crochet for as many rows So for this part of the top, I'll just keep going with my double crochets. So I'm going to go around here and place a double crochet. So go around and place a double crochet. So make your double crochet all the way around, then I'll meet you guys when I'm right here. Okay, so into that first double crochet that we made earlier. So I'm going to insert a slip stitch. So this was the first double crochet. Let me actually. So this was the first and I'm going to insert a slip stitch. And make a double crochet into that same spot that I made the slip stitch in. So make a double crochet. And you might need a stitch marker, so get your stitch marker and close it off. So this is where we're always going to slip stitch. So keep going for this row. We're going to insert two double crochets in every single stitch. So from here, insert two double crochets. One and two into the same stitch in the next stitch insert two double crochets
and just keep increasing with two double crochets into every stitch for this row so let me show you guys what I have so far so far this is what the top is gonna look like and we're gonna keep going all the way with two double crochets into every stitch okay so the Sun is going down but I just wanted to do this really quickly so I'm still on my third row for the sleeves which is the increase row so I'm going to make my last increase in that last stitch right here. And then in this stitch marker space, I'm going to take out my stitch marker and I'm going to place a slip stitch into that stitch. And then into that same stitch, I'm going to place a double crochet. And then I'm going to place my slip stitch and my stitch marker back. And then for row number four for these sleeves, I'm just going to place a double crochet all through for this row. So we're not making any increases, we're just making double crochet for every stitch. So, so this is what it looks like. And if it looks like this, it's a good sign, don't worry. So we'll just make um, double crochet for about like, I think 8 rows. I think I'm going to do it for 8 rows and I'll meet you guys when I'm done. So guys, I'm at the end of my 8th row, so I finished row number 8 for no increase, and now I'm just going to slip stitch into that first double crochet, and then I'm going to make a double crochet into that same space. And so for this next row, I'm going to make decreases. So yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, then insert into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, and yarn over, pull through the remaining two loops. Now we've made our first decrease and we're going to make decreases for every single um, stitch. So yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, insert into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, and yarn over, pull through the remaining two loops. And I'm going to make a decrease for every single row or stitch for every single stitch so make a decrease for every single stitch on this row okay so i'm about to make my last decrease or my last double crochet so i'm just gonna do that because i don't have any other stitches so from here, I'm just going to slip stitch, always slip stitch, and then insert a double crochet into that same slip stitch space. So for this next row, 
we're just gonna place a double crochet all around the edges and as you can see we made a decrease and the puff sleeves are starting to come together so for this we'll just place a double crochet into every single stitch and this is row one two three four five six this is row 12. So I finished row 12. I'm just about to finish. And now we're going to make another decrease. So I'm going to slip stitch and place a double crochet into that same space and then for row 12 i'm going to make another decrease so yarn over pull through yarn wait yarn so yarn over insert your hook yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two loops and then insert into the next stitch Yarn over, pull through, and yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, pull through the remaining two loops. So yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops. Insert into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, and yarn over, pull through the remaining two loops. And we're going to make a decrease for every single row for every single stitch on this row. So the last thing we're going to do for the puff sleeve is to make a single crochet all the way for this row. So place a single crochet all the way for this row. So this is what the first um, sleeve looks like. Um, we're just going to do the exact same thing that we did on here, on here. So when I'm done with my sleeves, I will come and meet you guys. So I'm done with both of these sleeves and this is what I have so far and now we're just about to make the, the little lace that's going to go across the back portion and then we're done with this top. So. Take your yarn. And make a chain you don't have to use your four millimeter crochet hook I'm just using it because this is what I have you could use your five millimeter crochet hook so make a slip knot and then make a very long chain 
about 200 to 250 chains it just depends on how large or small you are so yeah i'm just gonna make 200 chains Once you've made that very long chain, you're just going to go ahead and make a slip stitch all around for each chain. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull through all the loops to make a slip stitch. And you're going to make a slip stitch all the way for every chain. Okay, so I made my slip stitch all around the chains and I'm just going to chain one and cut off my work. Okay, wait, I'm going to bring my scissors. Okay, so I got my scissors and now I'm just going to cut off the yarn. and pull through okay and i'm just gonna make a knot right here two knots and then i'm gonna cut off the yarn that i don't need So for this portion, don't mind all this loose yarn that, that's sticking out. So I'm just going to thread this through. And I'm just going to take this one. I'm going to pass it through the first hole. And then I'm going to take the other side and pass it through the other hole. And then I'm going to go here and pass it through that hole. And take the other end and pass it through the this hole. And then take this one and pass it through this hole. Take this one and pass it through this hole. Now take this one and pass it through this hole. And I'll take this one and pass it through this hole. And then through this one and th through the last one. Okay, so right now what we're going to do is to cut off all the um, loose yarn that we don't need. So that's what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to come back and show you guys the finished result.
okay so guys this is the finished product of this top um sorry my voice is not even like loud because it's night time and everybody's asleep so i don't want to wake anybody up but um tomorrow i'm gonna put this top on and i'm gonna show you guys the finished process um before the video ends make sure you like this video please um, make sure you subscribe and also turn on post notifications so you can get notified every single time I upload a new video. Um, if you recreate this top, don't forget to tag me. My Instagram is down below and also follow my Instagram at my TikTok. And yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching. And now, these are the clips for the top. <laughs>